Are you surprised? The first million mile vehicle on this channel, and it's a Toyota. For some, a million mile Toyota is boring. Predictable even, like watching yet another child prodigy play piano on the internet. We get it, it's been done. But I advise, don't let your predispositions diminish the magnitude of this achievement. It's a marvel through and through. The Hilux, or as it's so aptly named here in North America, the Toyota Pickup, is a small to mid-sized truck whose humble beginnings date back to 1968, its nameplate still used to this day. Now a living legend, these trucks have garnered worldwide fame for their indestructible nature. Whether being blown up by Top Gear or the Taliban, these tiny tanks can endure just about anything. So let's rewind 43 years and learn the story of this one owner Hilux with over one million miles. Now, to put things into perspective, it's important to first understand exactly how immense one million miles really is. It's the equivalent of driving from New York City to Los Angeles 360 times, or driving at a speed of 60 miles per hour for 694 days continuously. But perhaps most relevant, over 43 years, that's an average of more than 23,000 miles annually. And this pickup wears that mileage as a badge of honor. With a simple glance, you just know this truck has a story to tell. Take the paint, for example. Each layer a snapshot in time, like my skin in the summer sun, it started tan, then turned red, and now it's tan again. Rust litters the surface of the fenders like termite trails in wood. You might expect, since this car has lived in California and the Southwest its whole life, that it'd be devoid of such a nuisance. But years of racing and rallying along the salty beaches of the Pacific coast, followed by a lack of car washing, was bound to catch up eventually. And yes, you heard that right. This truck has been raced and rallied all over the Southwest and Pacific coast. Whether it was on a beach, through the desert, over rocks, or up a snowy mountain, motorsport played a big part throughout its early life. This is evidenced by the roll cage, which the owner installed shortly after leasing the truck in 1980. Naturally, this voided the lease agreement and forced him to buy out the remaining $10,000, totaling to its $13,000 MSRP. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why void the lease just weeks after purchase? What a freaking idiot! Well, first, that was very rude of you to think. You should really give people the benefit of the doubt. And second, there was very good justification. You see, after getting into a head-on collision with an MG Midget just two weeks after driving off the showroom floor, the owner walked away with a new awareness and respect for safety. So he straightened the frame, fixed the body panels, and threw in a roll cage for good measure. Worthwhile insurance, I say. The interior of this Toyota is like a 92-year-old stripper. Musty, dry and dusty, with loose change stuffed in every crevice. It gets the job done, but in an endearing kind of way. There really isn't too much else to say about this interior other than what meets the eye. Let's just say it's long since departed from its factory original condition. In typical vintage Toyota fashion, the cabin is spartan, bereft of distracting luxurious amenities. It's set out to fulfill a singular mission to be dependable, and there's certainly no faulting it for that. Everything works from the gauges to the climate control, and although it might not have been optioned with air conditioning, the holes in the floor conveniently shoot right up your pant leg to keep you cool where you need it most. Ah, nothing like a refreshing air enema on your morning commute.
So what's the secret to achieving the coveted seven-digit milestone? Surely there's a special formula of unique maintenance intervals, driving style, oil brand, or air freshener scent that when combined can guarantee such an endeavor, right? Well, no, there's no such formula. In fact, the owner of this car admitted that he beat the crap out of this thing for over 40 years, even taking it off jumps on numerous occasions, but nothing could stop it. Sure, the springs, shocks, hubs, and other suspension parts have been broken countless times, but that never slowed it down. Heck, as it sits, one of the leaf springs is cracked and all the shocks are leaking. Yet here it is, bucking and flexing as it conquers this undulating crawl with ease. Now onto the engine and drivetrain. The more astute Hilux aficionado may notice the discreet 22R label affixed to the valve cover and know that this engine was not offered for 1980 model year pickups. And you'd be right. You're very smart, you know that? Yes, this is not the original engine to the vehicle. That would be the 20R, the 2.2 liter predecessor to this 2.4 liter. The owner upgraded to the 22R after racking up over 400,000 trouble-free miles on the original motor. But the reason for the switch was not due to any catastrophic engine failure. No, in fact, the old 2.2 liter only received basic maintenance of wear items throughout its usage. Vacuum lines, timing belts, spark plugs, etc. You get the idea. But the owner felt limited by the performance potential and wanted to rebuild the engine with upgrades anyway. So swapping to the newer 2.4 liter was the natural choice. With it, the old 4-speed manual was exchanged for the 5-speed stick from a 1983 truck. And now, another 600 or so thousand miles later, it remains happily ticking away. It may be leaking every fluid imaginable, but it's still eager for the next adventure. When I asked the owner for advice on how to have a car last this long, he simply said, get something that's easy to fix and maintain. That's what drew him to the Hilux all those years ago. He said it was the easiest car to work on that he'd ever seen. And if there's one not-so-secret secret to getting a car this far, it's that the maintenance is never-ending and things will inevitably break. So the simpler the car, the more likely you'll be to actually fix it. Though having an indestructible Toyota does give you just a slight advantage. An optimistic outlook nonetheless. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next mile.